one hot Seattle day. Holy shit, it's so fucking hot out right now, dude. 7.30 p.m. in Seattle and it's 90 degrees out. I don't care where you're from, that is not normal here. God damn. What's good, everybody? My name is Modi, this is Modi Makes, and today we're gonna be getting back into it by doing another one of those good old one-line portrait paintings like you see right here. <laughs> but we're gonna be taking it one step further this time and doing a more intricate, layered, complicated background, which you already saw me painting, and that's because this piece is going to be an underwater scene, as it is entitled, the diver. The diver is a being who plunges himself into the depths, searching for a treasure at the bottom. Um, a person who leaves himself suspended for days in the void, searching for some unquantifiable reward um, that may be found. It's kind of an analog towards my pursuit in my arts, uh, you know 
sometimes getting lost in it all and just focusing for weeks at a time on you know, little details that might make it better or why you create the style that you create or what's the importance of all of it and just diving deeper and deeper and deeper into um, the things that you love and the things that entice you or naturally pull you in so that you may be able to find some sort of reward or some sort of uh, sense of satisfaction on the other side. So, with that out of the way, let's get into it, shall we? Not bad about that. <laughs> er, just readjust you. There we go. Modi, you done did it again. Transfer went off. Go, just leave. Alright, it's time to make these trick shots a little bit more complicated. From D. A. One more, one more. Two for two. Up. Draft me, baby. Draft me.
The diver is complete. And you know, um, I'm actually really happy with how this one turned out. I like the subtlety in it. Um, I was really happy with how the background had come out originally. I thought that looked great. And then I didn't want to cover too much of that. So that's why I ended up leaving quite a bit of the underside of the diver helmet exposed and not painted on. And then I wanted to give it kind of an underwater feel where it's hard to see the details. So that's why I used two shades of blue for the body instead of using a high contrast color like I would normally do. And then I just used that yellow on the bottom corner for the light and for the ring to make it just pop right there. And that's exactly where your eye goes immediately at first when you look at it, which is awesome because like if you were underwater and a dude had a bright flashlight, that would be immediately where your eye would go then too. But. Let me know what you guys think of the piece down below in the comments and also let me know if you have any suggestions for anything else you want me to try or any questions about anything I do, I'm happy to answer them. And you know, if you like the video, please give me a like, that would be amazing. And if you like me, you like the channel and you want to help support me, then the best thing that you can do is to subscribe. I couldn't thank you enough if you did, um, it really means a lot. With all that out of the way and without further ado, let's get in those final shots, shall we? Thanks for watching.